Hello everyone, my name is Jared from LearnToDroid.com and this is the first tutorial I'm uploading to YouTube. Uh, in this tutorial we'll be going through how to create a simple login form in Android. Um, now we'll be using uh, Android Studio to create this login form. We'll be adding uh, text views, edit text, uh, a button. Uh, and it will be just a very simple login form. We'll be able to input the username and password and select the login button and it'll generate a toast message. So I'll just demonstrate that for you now. So just putting in a username and a password and you can see that the password text is hidden. And if you click the login button, it will generate a, a toast message showing the username and password. So let's get started on this now. So I'll just create a new project in Android Studio. We'll go with an empty activity. So we'll give it a name. So we'll call this a simple login form. And I'll go to finish. Now we'll get started with creating the login form. So uh, the Gradle sync is complete now, so we can make a start. So we'll start by creating a um, number of uh, labels inside the strings.xml file. So we'll need a few labels uh, to show in the um, in the user interface for the login form. So the first will be the title of the login form. Will just be called login. Uh, then we'll have various fields for the username and password. These will be text views shown on the screen, so we'll just create these labels now. So one of the benefits of using the strings.xml file is that's where you can um, uh, perform a, a localization. So you can have different strings for different um, different uh, languages, and it's all just sort of placed in this one file. And finally, uh, we've got uh, the text for the uh, for the button, which will be uh, login, so I'll just put that as uh, login form button. So now that we've created those, uh, we'll go into the um, layout resource, uh, which can be found inside your uh, res layout activity uh, main.xml file, um, and we'll add some, we'll set up the layout for this login form. So first we'll jump into the split view so we can see the the um, the display of the login form on the side here and then the text for the code. So what we'll do is we'll change this constraint layout to a linear layout <clears throat> and we'll start um, we'll also need to get the card view um, uh, widget now to do this um, go into the design tab, scroll down to containers and select the download button against the card view uh, widget. So card view is an external dependency that you need to download. Uh, so uh, you could fiddle around in your Gradle file doing that manually or you can just uh, follow this way. It's a bit easier to pull in that uh, dependency. So I'll click OK to download that dependency using Gradle. So now you can use the card view widget. Okay, so now that we've downloaded the card view widget, uh, external dependency, we'll start um, building up the uh, layout file for activity dot, uh, underscore main. So uh, the uh, base uh, elements will be a, a linear layout, which will have a vertical orientation. So inside the linear layout, we'll add a card view widget. Okay, and this card widget will have a, linear, uh, a layout uh, width of match parent and a layout height of wrap content. Um, we'll add a card elevation of uh, 8dp for, this is for creating the rounded corners. And then we'll have the corner radius set to 8dp as well. Now this card view will have a background color of white. Um, so I'll just provide the white value there, color in the background attribute. Uh, that reminds me for the in linear layout, we'll set the background color of that to black. And then we use 
actually or a zero zero okay now inside the card view we'll have a uh, a linear layout with a um, orientation of vertical inside this linear layout we'll add start adding our um, widgets for our form so basically uh, in the form we'll start with a text view which is the um, title of the form so we'll give the text set the text to the form title and we want this to show very big so we'll set that to uh, text size of 36 SP and we want this to center um, for center horizontally so we'll set the text alignment to center and we'll set the layout gravity to center horizontal so that's the text view for the login form title next we'll add the title of the edit text so a label for the edit text for the username edit text so we'll enter another text view um, we'll give it a text value of username that we've created previously we'll set the text view to a size of 22 SP okay and next we will add the first edit text for the username so we'll give it a uh, width of match parent wrap content for the height um, and we'll set the input type to be uh, accepting of text okay this is for the username and we'll give it an id so we can reference it later in our main activity class so that we'll give it a id of um, activity uh, activity main um, i'll call it username edit text okay Next, we'll add the text view for the password. So a, a label for the edit text for a password. Okay, the text value will be login form password and the size will be 22 SP. Okay, and then next we'll add another edit text for the password. Okay, and the input type will be different this time so these are the different input types we have access to for the edit text now um, we want to have a text password so that we can hide the password uh, from being shown to the screen and we'll also need to give it a uh, ID so we can reference it in the main activity file so we'll give it an ID of password edit text Okay, and finally we'll need to add a button. This button will be, uh, will need to be match parent for the width and wrap content for the height. We'll give it a text size that's 22, same as the ones above. Okay, and give it a text value of the button uh, that we defined in the strings.xml file. Okay, and now we've got a login button. Now we'll also need to reference this button in the main activity. So we'll need to give it an ID of um, login button. Okay, now we will improve the presentation of this uh, login form. What we'll do is want to add a margin. So we'll add a margin to the card view so 64 display pixels what we'll do now is we'll add a padding value to the linear layout of 24 dp now if you run this in the emulator uh, it should look similar to um, what we've previously shown at the start of this tutorial okay just test that when you enter text 
the first one is uh, shown as plain text and the second one we see the import text being hidden. Now uh, we haven't done anything to make the functionality for the login button work yet so that will be covered in the next step of this tutorial. So now we'll go into the main activity and set up the button to display a toast message after the username and password has been entered and the button is clicked. So what we'll do first is we'll add a few variables to the main activity class. So we'll get the two edit texts um, uh, from the uh, activity layout. So we've got the edit text for the username and the edit text for the password. Next, we'll add a variable for the button, uh, which will be simply login button. So next, what we'll do is in the onCreate method, we'll use the findViewById method to link the variables to the views. So we'll start with the username edit text. We'll go findViewById, r.id, and we'll go with the um, username edit text. And we'll go Password edit text. And finally the login button. Okay. Next we will add a on click listener to the button. To do this go use the on uh, login button uh, variable and go set on click listener new on click listener. Now in the on click method what we'll do is we will um, first check that uh, both the username and password has been entered and we'll do this by retrieving the text inside the edit text and checking that the length is greater than zero for both the username and the password. Yeah. So we'll go with username edit text dot get text dot length greater than zero uh, double and symbol. We're also checking that the password edit text dot get text. So this is the text inside the password edit text is also greater than zero. Okay, um, and if that's not the case, that means we will create a toast message. So this is the message that we'll be displaying in the toast. Um, and this will say username or password has not been entered. Okay, and then uh, to display a text, we need to go toast.makeText, get application context, uh, use the toast message, and then we want to show it for a short period of time. So uh, length.short. And to show the message, we need to call the show method. Okay. Now, um, if the uh, username and the password has been entered, we'll create a different toast message. Okay. And then it will simply be username. We'll show the username. Then we'll show password okay and same as before we'll go toast.make text get application context toast message toast.length short dot show okay save that and then what we can do is we can test this out. Okay, I'll go with Jared username, Jared password. Click the login button and there you go. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, check in the description a link to the code samples on my website for this tutorial. Uh, and like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thank you very much.